Well, I'm Glenn Cummings in Beaumont, Texas. Uh, I'm a Boy Scout historian, a long-time uh, Boy Scout leader. Uh, I'd like to talk about uh, a famous scout from Beaumont uh, named Harry Brinkley Bass. And he uh, uh, achieved quite a bit of notoriety at a young age, uh, actually starting when he was really uh, about eight years old uh, in California uh, visiting relatives, and he met the movie, the movie star Hoot Gibson. And uh, that was kind of the beginning. But in 1920, uh, he was born in Chicago uh, on July the 4th, 1916. Uh, his family came to Beaumont when he was about 11 uh, in 1928, and just in time for him to join Troop 6 and be eligible to go to England to the 1929 World Scout Jamboree uh, at Birkenhead, England. Uh, they, they, uh, they went on that trip and it was a fabulous experience. Uh, spent time in France before the Jamboree uh, touring battlefields and so forth, uh, in Paris, uh, all the, the tourist sites. They went to England, uh, <clears throat> did the Jamboree, fabulous experience. Uh, after the Jamboree they toured uh, in Scotland before they uh, came back to Beaumont. Uh, they got to New York City on the ship coming back and got off the ship and it just so happened that they were the first Boy Scouts to return from the Jamboree and the New York newspapers were dying to talk to some little Boy Scout and out steps this little four foot ten eighty one pound Texas Boy Scout named Brink Bass uh, very dapper well uniformed uh, outspoken reporters were glad to uh, interview him and, and they asked him well how was the Jamboree and he said well, it was okay. It was uh, muddy. It was cold. It rained a lot, and this and that. And somebody said, "Well, uh, did you meet any famous people?" And his reply was, "Yes, I met the Prince of Wales." And they said, "Oh my goodness, you met the prince? Well, what was the prince like?" And Brink's comment was basically that the prince wore baggy pants. Well, this quickly became a tongue-in-cheek international incident that this little Texas Boy Scout had been critical of the way the best-dressed man in the world, the Prince of Wales, dressed. And it made the uh, world headlines, uh, front pages of papers and so forth. Uh, the mayor of New York was a guy by the name of uh, Johnny Walker or Jimmy Walker? Um, Jimmy Walker. Uh, he sent for the little Texas Boy Scout and Brink went and uh, had his audience with the mayor. Uh, they took pictures uh, that made head world headlines and front pages. Uh, Los Angeles Times and New York papers. Uh, Houston, I think. Uh, big deal. He was famous. Came out of the interview with the mayor, and they said, "Well, uh, what about the mayor's attire?" And Brink's comment was, "Well, his suit fit him like a finger in mud." Ah, uh, kind of an East Texas slang for tight. <laughs>